Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can quickly add students to your classes using GoGuardian Teacher, and then we'll take a look at how you can create a session and start monitoring and managing student devices in class. So let's go ahead and launch Google Chrome, and we're going to go to teacher.goguardian.com. Now, if you do feel like you're going to be using this quite often, what you can do is take this URL and just drag it right into your bookmarks bar. That way, anytime you open a new tab, all you have to do is go to Classrooms, and it'll take you right into your dashboard. And you can see I have a couple classrooms set up here already. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into Hogwarts. And if you remember from the last video, when I jump inside of the Students section, I can add students and use the enrollment code to add them to this course. And you can see here on the right hand side that I do have four students that are currently pending. And all I have to do to allow them into my class is come over to the icon on the right hand side that says enroll and click add. So I'll enroll the rest of these here. And now that I have students enrolled in my class, all I have to do now is start a session. So I'll go back over to the sessions tab on the left and I'm gonna choose to start a new session. So for this class specifically, I'm going to allow 45 minutes, and we haven't actually talked about scenes yet, so I'm gonna leave this marked as none. And then I'm going to start session. Now it's gonna take a few minutes to get these screens to load up. And once the session has started and the connection has been made, you'll be able to view student device screens. So let's take a look at this interface really quick. In the top left-hand corner, you can see that I'm currently in my Hogwarts class that I set up. You'll see that right now I do have only three of my four students online or connected. If I do have any students that are offline, this will give me an indication right here. And if I'm having connection issues, I can take a look at some of the settings in order to make sure that the devices do connect correctly. Now in the main window, I do see student screens and I can sort them by first name, last name, online and offline. And I can see all of those devices here. In the top right hand corner, I will have a scene selection. So if I do set up scenes, which we'll talk about in a different video, I can change that here. It gives me a time indication as to how long the session is left or if I want to update that time to extend it or shorten it. I can enable the chat option, which allows me to communicate with my students individually. And then I can just manually end the session right here if I decide that I want to end the session early. Beneath that, I do have this screens option where I can click inside and see timelines, which we'll talk about in a second. I can take snapshots of the screens or the devices so that I can go back and review those later and I can go into my command log as well. Now, before I jump into individual student screens, you'll see that I do have an option to check all of the devices at once, and then I get some options up at the top here. So if I wanted to direct my students to a specific tab, I can open a tab on every device within my class. I can lock down all the screens at once if I choose to. I can also unlock all the screens at once from this option. And if I want to exclude a student, maybe they're the only one that's staying on track or maybe they're not in for the day, I can mark them as exclude so that they're not affected by those settings. Now, when I click on a student device screen, what it'll do is open a little preview window here and I can see the actual tab that the student is currently on. I can see how many tabs are open and I can actually read the information that the students are looking at. So we can see here that Draco Malfoy is looking up some unforgivable curses, and that's not part of the task for the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just close that tab, and you'll see that that screen has been removed. I can also X out of this. I can enable chat. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a little message bubble that I can open up. And I can send a direct message to Draco saying, that's not part of the assignment. Please stay on track. And what's going to happen is the message will pop up on the student device screen. And then you'll see that the student did reply back. And I think this is going to be extremely helpful in your classes because you can directly communicate with your students one to one without disrupting the entire class. Now, if I were to click on Ron Weasley's screen here, as I hover over the screen, you'll see that a toolbar does pop up. And in the bottom right hand corner, I can enlarge the screen so I have a better view of what the student's currently looking at. I'll just minimize that. And I can also take a screenshot. Now inside of screens, if I come into snapshots, you'll see that snapshots are saved screenshots from your classroom session. So any snapshots that you take of any device for that session will remain in this section. Just a few more things. Under snapshots in the top right hand corner, I'm gonna jump into timelines. And this is a really cool feature because it allows you to see in real time 
the tabs that are open on the student's devices. So you can see if I scroll to the left here to the beginning of the session and click on the tab that's currently open, it will tell me the active time for that tab and how long that student's been on there and also all the other tabs that the student has been on. And one of the great things about the timeline is that when I do click on Ron Weasley's tab, I can see that he's been on this Keeper website and I've asked him numerous times to get off of it. So what I'm gonna do is select Ron's name and lock down Ron's device. So if I come back over into my screens, you'll see that his browsing is currently disabled and will not be enabled until I unlock the device for him. Let's go ahead and unlock that screen. And now he's back on track. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this session now. And you'll see when I click back into Hogwarts, you'll see the date for when I created the session, the time that the session ran, and the actual runtime. What I can do is I can click into this session and it takes me to the timeline so I can still scrub through and see what students were on what tabs through that entire class period. Now, if you remember from the last video, inside of settings, we do have this reportings feature. And if this is enabled, you will receive an email summary of all the data from that session. So you'll see again, the classroom and the duration, as well as the date and the time and who started that session, the number of students that were connected in that session, the browsing activity, all of the students, as well as an option to click the tab to view the timelines once again. In the next video, we'll take a look at how you can create scenes to add to your sessions.